So again, we're looking at graphing quadratic uh, equations. And quadratic equations are, going to, are those parabola type equations, and the parabola comes from us having this x squared term. Now, in previous videos, we've talked about how our vertex x coordinate is going to be the opposite of b divided by 2 times a. And this axis of symmetry is where x is equal to the opposite of b divided by 2 times the a value. But again, where do those b's and a's and c's, which will eventually come into play, come from? That comes from our standard equation. And the standard form, again, is a times x squared plus b times x plus c. So as you can see, in this example, y is equal to 1 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 2. So our a value is 1. Our b value is a positive 2, uh, positive 3, sorry about that, positive 3, and the c value is equal to 2. So let's find our x-coordinate of our vertex. Okay? x-coordinate of the vertex is going to be the opposite of our b value divided by 2 times the a. I'm just going to take and substitute the values that I have here. Okay? So the opposite of b, well b is a positive 3, so that's going to be a negative 3. And this is all divided by 2 times my a value, or 2 times 1. 2 times 1, which is really just a negative 3 halves. So my x coordinate is where we're at a negative 3 halves or a negative 1 and a half. Okay? And we're somewhere up and down this actual point right here. Now, I'm not sure exactly where yet, so to find my y-coordinate, okay, to find my y-coordinate, I'm going to take and substitute in negative 3 halves into my y equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. So y is now equal to a negative 3 halves, that quantity squared, plus 3 times a negative 3 halves plus 2. Okay? Negative 3 halves times a negative 3 halves gives me a positive 9 over 4. Okay? Plus 3 times a negative 3 halves is a negative 9 halves. And then plus 2. Well, here I've got a bunch of different denominators. This is actually 2 over 1. So 4 is my least common denominator. So to get this all together, I've got 9 fourths. Plus, and I have to take nine, negative 9 halves times 2 over 2 to get it into fourths. So that's a negative 18 fourths. And then we're going to add to that a positive 2 over 1 or a positive 8 fourths. So here I have a positive 17 fourths minus 18 fourths. Well, that gives me negative 1 fourth. So my y coordinate is negative 1 over 4. Okay? So here I'm at a negative 3 halves and a negative 1 fourth. Well, there's a half, so that must be a fourth right there. This point here is my vertex. Okay? This is my vertex. And again, that vertex is either the highest or the lowest point on our parabola. Okay. So, to determine whether we open up or down, we can look at our first term. And if you remember, when a is greater than zero, so whenever a is positive, it's going to open up. Well, a is a positive one, so it will open up. We're actually going to be opening up on this parabola. Now, the other cool thing that I can do here is use my axis of symmetry. That line where x is equal to the opposite of b over 2a. Well, we just found that. When we found our x-coordinate, we've got also the axis of symmetry. I'll draw it in green here. Okay, so that goes straight up and down. And I'm making it a different color so that we don't mistake it for our graph. Okay? So this is our axis of symmetry. And this really acts like a mirror for our, for our attempts here. Okay? It's going to act like a mirror. So the way we complete this is to now pick at least two points 
on one side. of the axis, plot, and mirror. Okay, so we're, we're just going to pick two more points on either this side or this side of this axis of symmetry that we have, and then we're going to plot those points and we're going to mirror them across on the axis of symmetry. Let's do that now. Now, here again is the line where x is equal to negative three halves. For this example, I'm going to choose two points that are going closer to zero because smaller numbers are easy, easier to square and, and work with. So I'm going to choose a negative one. So when x equals a negative one, I'm going to substitute that negative one into my actual equation. My y will be a negative one quantity squared plus three times a negative one plus 2. Well, that gives me uh, negative 1 squared is a positive 1, plus 3 times a negative 1, or a negative 3, plus a positive 2. 1 and 2 combined to be a positive 3, plus a negative 3. Our point here is at 1, 0. So, I'm just going to make a point right there. I have to check just one more point, find its y-coordinate, so I'm going to test where x is equal to 0. Now, when x equals 0, again, y is equal to 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus 2, which you can probably recognize as being 0 plus 0 plus 2. So at 0, we're up here at 2. Okay. So now we've plotted our other two points. And now we're going to use this axis of symmetry to mirror them across to the other side. Okay? The way we do this is we take the distance we are with our x value and the axis of symmetry. Well, here we're at a negative 3 halves. Here we're at a negative 1. So we're only 1 half unit away here. So we're going to go exactly 1 half unit away here to a negative 2. And we can plot the same exact point. Okay? We plot the same point. And when we go to zero, we're actually one and a half units away. So we're going to go one, a half a unit, and then a whole unit more. So out here to a negative three. And if you were to test these values as x equals negative three, you'd find negative three times plus three times a negative three, which makes that whole thing zero, plus two. So this point is actually a negative three, two as well just in case you were wondering. Okay? Now, last thing that we have to do to plot this is just connect our dots with a smooth curving line. Okay? Smooth curving line. I'm going to start from right down here. And it continues just like we see it. Okay? Make sure that your graph looks like a U and travels through your five points, and you should have a pretty good parabola.